We have the up-to-date Arga information. The vicinity of the ruins is swarming with Chuathal Eldari. At least the Crimson Wanderer took care of the potential reinforcements. The Elder will pose a considerable threat. Have you thought about deploying Sir Caradoc again? I cannot risk the safety of the artifact by sending in a war machine with the most devastating weaponry in the entire system. Noted. The Tech Priest is trying to scan the area for further information. I'm on my way to the ruins. Contact me when the Tech Priest is finished with the scans. What is more remarkable is that I still have no idea why you are assisting me at all. Why do you care? I am nothing but a speck of dust in the terrible storm that will one day awaken a god. If that was meant to reassure me, you have failed. energy 
signature located. And how does that help me exactly? The presence of an energy field, evidently generated by Xenos technology, must indicate the location of the relic you seek. I must be on the right track then. For a while, how this relic could have survived for countless millennia. But now I know. Analysis. Impenetrable energy field. Signature identical to the force field protecting the status chamber of the martyr. That barrier needed to be deactivated by a specific key. Theory. The powers of the Alpha subject might interact with the field. Inquisitor, you have incoming. Sergeant, I need the Alpha Pariah. Send her to me. Allow me to join the fight, Inquisitor. Anything could happen to us here, Thorn. Anything. If I do not make it back, you must deliver all my findings to the Conclave. Affirmative. Are you serious, Inquisitor? I feel a resonance with this thing. None of us know what will happen if I step closer. I give you an artifact from the dawn of the universe, the key that might unlock your true potential, and suddenly, you are afraid? I was only making an observation in the light of my recent ordeals. I hope you don't expect me to apologize. My expectations are irrelevant. My orders matter, however. If this is indeed my legacy, you can expect a heartfelt apology from me. We will discuss your impertinence later. Now proceed. Bravo! What a fabulous performance. Inquisitor, my only remaining part in this play is to take the Alpha Pariah with me and let the curtain fall. I knew that I couldn't trust you. You have manipulated me, Eldar. I have merely woven all the threads together. Twinning the fate of the Talthal Eldari and yourself, Inquisitor, until you all made this moment happen together. I have warned you once. Playing games with an Inquisitor is dangerous, even for your kind. 
This is not a game, human. The Anathema Ultima must be adorned with the crown of emptiness. Only then will she enter the Immaterium to fulfill a destiny both frightening and majestic. I suspect that you have other plans for her. The Anathema Ultima is the brightest glimmer of hope for us. For the Inari, this is inevitable. assistance from you. It was your battle to fight, not mine. And now you talk like the Harlequin. How are you feeling? It is difficult to explain. My will is... It is a barbed, poisonous thing. And it is also smooth and cold as obsidian. And it is a weapon. And a key. And the tincture that heals the black wound on the world. I don't like this. The Magos will take a look at you on the ship. We have gathered here to bring forth the prophecy that was foretold at the dawn of the galaxy. The Alpha Pariah shall be adorned by the crown of emptiness and destroy the Dark Nexus by sailing into the Empyrean. Very poetic, also fundamentally wrong. The Dark Nexus is not our priority here. Phoebus Bile is one of the most abhorrent adversaries of the Empyrean. We shall attack his hideout. I have traveled here on the Martyr, now properly purged and blessed with the zealots of my order on board. It should be a sufficient force. So very hereticous of you. May I remind you that Bile Starford is inconveniently close to the most terrible warp anomaly ever seen in this sector? They use this Alpha Pariah to destroy Bile. That's where her true capabilities lie, don't they? Before we deal with the Dark Nexus, we have to eliminate the Primogenitor. I must object. We simply cannot allow the Alpha Pariah to get close to Bile. That traitor played a huge part in her creation. What if he seizes control of her, use her to obliterate the Dark Nexus, which is also the source of Bile's power? Then we will deal with the Primogenitor on our own. You know the Alpha Pariah the best, Inquisitor. I think you should have your say before I chime in. It is most unfortunate, but I must respectfully disagree with your decision, Inquisitor. It seems we have reached an impasse. And honestly, this is her fate we are talking about. This should be her decision. Whatever action the Alpha Pariah takes, it will have colossal consequences. I simply don't have a say in this matter. Nonsense! We are Inquisitors. We rule over life and death for the sake of the Imperium. Inquisitor Mercer, I really appreciate your concerns. Inquisitor Krabat, I even see your point. But I made my decision a long time ago. I will follow the prophecy. But first, I will kill Fabius Bile. I have seen some of my unsuccessful iterations in Uther's laboratory. The cursed handiworks of Bile. I have to stop him and end this cycle of suffering and pain. I want to destroy that worm. On one condition. What would that be? You, Inquisitor, will accompany me, and we will face Fabius Bile together. I wouldn't have it any other way. 